Hello Tangerines from Oaxaca, Mexico. We missed you guys last week because it was Maddie's birthday. We wanted to take a little bit of time off and celebrate that and not work for a week. But in a previous video, we were talking about how there's a new law that says when you're flying back into the US, you have to get a COVID test within three days of that flight. So we wanted to show you what it's like to get a COVID test here in Mexico. But before we do that, it's noon right now and we haven't ate, eaten anything, so we need some food stat. And Leska will be joining us. Leska! So we're at this place for breakfast called Baltazar and they have something that's very typical of Oaxaca and that is tetelas, which is, how would you describe tetelas? Kind of like a tamal, sort of, uh, but they're usually a triangle shape and it's made out of masa, corn dough, mm -hmm. and then they put something inside of it usually. And then the way that we've had them served here before is that there's some type of salsa on top, a bean salsa, red salsa, mole, uh, coloradito. Yeah, I, I love this place though. They're so good and pet friendly, so mm. we bring Lask all the time. Yeah, it was nice. They just brought a bowl of water out for her this time too. That's the first time that's happened. Por favor, me das una teten frijolada, perdón, y también un jugo antigripal. Voy a querer jugo. ¿Dónde está? Defensor. Por favor. Y teten frijolada también, pero para mí sin cebolla y si lleva un jolí sin algún jolí. Creo que es todo. I'm too hungry to wait. <laughs> well, usually we try to show you what the food looks like before we dive in, but at least we still have one plate. <laughs> Yum! And the ever curious Laska. So my hopefully yummy hugo was 39 pesos, really fresh ingredients, and it's a nice size juice. And then these tetelas were 75 pesos, and I am excited to be digging in because they're delicious. And we're both starving. Wait, I need a new word other than delicious. Oh, they yeah. taste really, really good. Really, really good. Oh, I love the vocabulary. You're <laughs> going there, Jordan. <laughs> Everybody pull out your encyclopedia. We actually got the same exact thing, and this has chorizo, cheese, they put like fresh herbs of some kind or another. I don't actually know what these are. And then inside it also has chorizo, and bathed on the whole thing, it's drowning in a bean sauce. It's super good. What's your Google? Oh, this is Defensor. I think it has beets, carrots, and apple. A little on the chunky side, but you know, tasty nonetheless. <laughs> well, that was just delightful. And before we get this COVID test done, before I get run over by a car for walking in the middle of the street and looking at the camera instead of my surroundings, <laughs> we're gonna drop Laska back off at our apartment because since dogs can neither get nor transmit COVID, I don't think she's going to be allowed there. Bye, Laska. We'll be back in a bit. If you're wanting to learn Spanish, our favorite program for that is on sale right now. This weekend, Rocket Languages is running their Valentine's Day sale. It's only for the first thousand courses sold, and it's a really great deal. So if you're interested in that, head on over to tangerinespanish.com. That's our affiliate link, and it will take you right there. And it's this weekend only. The sale ends Sunday at midnight. So head on over there now, tangerinespanish.com. Despite the pandemic, the city is absolutely bustling, especially the closer you get to Mercado 20 de Noviembre, or I think there's also Benito Juarez Market. Tons of people, tons of vendors, very lively.
We're going to this place called Salud Digna. I looked up online uh, and they have locations all over Mexico. And I tried making an appointment online, but for some reason for their Oaxaca location, you couldn't make an appointment. So we're just walking in here blind. Well, according to the sign out front, we do actually have to make an appointment. So Jordan's trying to do that on his phone right now. And hopefully we can get in today, but we'll, we'll see what happens. So online it said you could get a PCR test, an antigen test, or an antibody test. And the antibody test is about 160, and the antigen test 220, and the PCR test way more expensive than the others. Okay. Way more expensive than the others at 900. And apparently here at this location, they're only doing the PCR test. Uh, so we're gonna try to find uh, another location where we can do a cheaper test because we don't wanna pay the 900 for the PCR. Alrighty, we may have found another option and it's two blocks away, so we're gonna give it a try. This, what seems to be the start of a wild goose chase to find this COVID test is exactly why we were saying tourism is about to get crushed because we are familiar with Oaxaca and we do speak Spanish. So this isn't like the biggest deal to us to be asked asking people, asking questions, trying to find this, but if you're new to a city and you're just trying to go there for a week or something, what a gigantic pain in the rump. But I did just learn that they have a COVID tent or a testing site at the airport now here. So that's the most convenient place of all. They COVID, you know? Okay? No. No, yeah, no. No, we don't have the Okay. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Okay. Well, we tried a farmacia ahorro and. De, de, de ahorro. <laughs> uh, Farmacia, anyway, that one back there didn't have it and sent us to Reforma, the neighborhood Reforma, or which other one? They do do them there, it's just that it was out of stock. Yeah, um, so... <laughs> yes, so I think she said either like on Cologne or to Colonia Reforma. Well, goose hunt continues! <laughs> 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 So we went to another uh, Farmacia del Ahorro and they told us to go to the Cologne location, which is the location we were just at, after 4 p.m. But at that location, they didn't tell us to come back after 4. They just said they didn't have them. So I'm guessing this is just one of those things of like people trying to be helpful and... They don't they, really know. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they're just sending us somewhere without actually knowing. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna get back on the phone and keep searching. When we came out today, I was expecting to pay 220 pesos a person for an antigen test. And the place that we thought we were gonna get it done didn't, wasn't doing it there. And then we walked pretty much all over town. And now I looked up another place, another laboratory, uh, Laboratory Juarez, uh, that has the antigen test at, as well. But they're charging 700 a person or 1500 for the PCR test. Um, so I think we might just have to look into the airport option because that we were told that's the cheapest anyway. And besides, it's getting to be the hottest time of day. We are sweating our booties off, even though it's like 80. Three, maybe <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the low 80s it still feels hot when you're in the sun and just walking around like crazy so uh -huh. we tried though it uh, should not be this hard I don't think it should be this hard why don't we go get some quejate quejate it's a Oaxaca video tradition <laughs> <laughs> um, we passed the salida I don't know where to get okay. in why don't we go over there Here. oh can we go on the salida oh, no. salida no <laughs> that means the opposite of where we can get in. I know, but it means it's an entry. It means like it's a way to go in. It means we could sneak in. <laughs> we found the entrance. Finally, Yay. we passed by like three exits. I was beginning <laughs> to think you couldn't get in here at all. Um, and yes, now we're going to look for some tejate, except I don't know if this is the like goods mercado where you can buy clothes and uh, household items and whatnot or if this is a food one the food one might be across the street you know what I bet we can find in here a fake COVID test a fake COVID test I bet you could you could ask a guy and he'd get a guy and his brother's uncle would get it for us for sure <laughs>
Ah, ¿Cuánto es un paso? Pues grande. Sí. ¿30 o 40? Ah, 40. 40. ¿Azúcar? Ah, solo un poquito. poquito. Gracias. ¿Puedo grabar? Sí, adelante. Gracias. Y mucho de esto, sí. Mucha de espuma. Muy bien. Gracias. Ah, uh, just what I need after walking around in the sun. La piñata. <laughs> yeah, I hit a piñata. Get all my frustrations out for not being able to find a COVID test. Oh, so if you are just tuning into our channel, you're new here, we tried to hot thin basically every Oaxaca video we've ever made. <laughs> it's this delicious drink with lots of ingredients from local like uh, semilla de mame and cacao something or other. I'll put it all on the screen, but it's very good, refreshing, cold, and it's got this foamy stuff on top, which is the best. Oh. The foamy stuff is a little different than normal. It's a little more like crunchy or something. But it still tastes as good as usual. To me. Feels good on the throat. I was so thirsty. Me too. And this is 40 pesos for this gigantic thing. I don't even know how big this is. Like a liter and a quarter, liter and a half. I don't know. Hola, amigo. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Tengo de 25, 30, 30. Oh, no veo. Okay, gracias. Mm. ¿Leche quemada? La tradicional es la leche quemada con turno. ¿Tiene leche quemada y guanábana? Sí. Ok, uh, un grande con dos sabores, si es posible. So, these are nieves de garrafa, and they put like the ice cream inside here and then uh, spin it around with ice inside of this outside container. Muchas gracias. ¿Quieres sentar? Ah, uh, sí. <laughs> si gusta, sí, pueden sentarse. Sí, sí. Ok, oh, gracias. Sí, gracias. Sí, sí, sí. Alright. I'm guessing this is going to be guanabana. Which in English is soursop. It's unique, but I like it. I don't even know what this tastes like. It's almost like... I don't even know. <laughs> I literally don't know. I thought it tasted like a white Powerade. Oh. Or a white Gatorade. And I was thinking kind of grape, like if you froze a grape and it was a little bit sweeter than a frozen grape. <laughs> I think I came to like a famous Nieves place because they have pictures up on the wall with like Mexican actresses from across the years. And I think that just means that famous people have come here maybe, but not that this place is famous. <laughs> And I was like, great, we're trying to get in and we couldn't find an entrance and now we're trying to get out and all we can find is entrances. Mmm, it smells like leather here. All of a sudden you have an accent here. Yeah. <laughs> here is where we have an accent like this. Where is that accent from, Jordan? I have no idea. <laughs> it's different once again. This whole day did not go how I was expecting. No, not this at all. This has been way more eventful than... We were just thinking this is going to be a chill day, go get a test, go on with our lives. And yeah. That did not happen, but... Instead I got Nieves! And I got the hot day! <laughs> Let's say lovey! Maddie just said she would have definitely worn different shoes if she knew she was going to be walking this much. And every time she say her, says her feet hurt, I always offer her a piggyback ride. And I always so, decline! So, would you like a piggyback ride? No! No, um, I had a neighbor that offered me a piggyback ride when I was younger, and she bent down to get something, and I went flying over her shoulders, and I've never wanted to be picked up like that ever since. I'll you don't trust, trust me? Nope, and I don't trust you, I don't trust nobody. <laughs> so you trust somebody. <laughs> just not you, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so in our last video, we kind of posed the question, is it time for us to leave Oaxaca? Because we kind of had this weird, scary experience where someone was following us and then yelling at us. Well, it kind of made us do a lot of thinking about, do we want to leave Oaxaca? And the answer is yes. 
not because of being followed to that crazy guy, but because we would like to look for our more permanent home, like a more permanent home base, just like we had back in Puerto Morelos. And for a variety of reasons, we don't feel like Oaxaca is it. There's so much we do love about this city, but we're kind of looking for something a little bit different. So here's some ideas that we have so far. We are looking at Cuernavaca because we've never been to the state of Morelos before. San Miguel de Allende, probably not to live long term, but we really want to visit because it seems like a beautiful historic city, a colonial city very similar to Guanajuato, another city we've been to and really loved. Querétaro. Querétaro, yes, we'd love to make our way back to Guadalajara eventually, but we need your help. Where should we go next? Uh, think though from Oaxaca north of in the country. We're not planning on going to Chiapas or Yucatan or Quintana Roo, at least not right now since we spent so much time there. But so going back up through the country, let us know where you think we should go next, especially places that would make good long-term homes for us, including Alaska. So pet-friendly cities, that's always a consideration for us. But that's kind of where we're at right now. A lot of question marks and a lot of a lot to plan at this point. If you want to find out where we decide to go next, be sure to hit that subscribe button and Gong that bell so you will be notified and get a notification whenever we upload a new video which will be on Saturdays. In the meantime though we will have some playlists up here floating around on the screen one of which is our binge watch everything playlist so you can watch our story and all of our adventures all of our travels from the very beginning which will keep you busy until next Saturday.